Thank you again for joining me on the Sutherland Report, and I am delighted to bring on my previous guest of a few weeks ago, which is Mark Butcher, who is the reform candidate for Blackpool South. And I am bringing him on because I want to catch up with how things are, how it's going. And he has a number of things to share and we'll have a brilliant conversation. So thank you for joining me, Mark. Hello, sir. How are you? Well, it's a pleasure. Well, thanks for having me back on. Well, thanks. Thank you for agreeing to be I'm back very, on. I'm very well. Good, good. So uh, I think since the last time we had a conversation a few weeks ago, you have had quite a busy time. So I'm just wondering if you could give me some of the highlights of that and then we will narrow down to the big issue. We have. It's been quite an incredible couple of weeks, to be honest with you. I've not stopped. Mm. Um, and obviously, we've we've been doing our best to get the message out there mm. that mm. Uh, reform are a serious party and that we have got serious policies common sense mm. policies and people have been very interested as well you know some of the hustings have been interesting i've been getting around the local um uh, pubs and and doing q and a's in the local pubs i'm doing one tomorrow night in the local pub called the boar's head and right. so it's it's about getting out there talking to people um and just really reassuring people that um by voting for Mark Butcher on the 2nd of May, you're not going to be voting for the status quo. You're not going to be voting for the same old rubbish. You know, there's something new. There's um, there's some great new ideas and more than just ideas, some fantastic um, opportunities that are horizing, or that are coming on the horizon for Blackpool. Brilliant, Mark. Well, since we last met and you raised a very, you know, your big... A fantastic idea, which is to bring a film studio infrastructure to to yeah. Blackpool South and uh, all the wonderful ramifications of that. And uh, you, you and I d discussed that. You discussed the cultural war, which we I'd like to come back to in a few minutes. But at the Blackpool Gazette, Gazette, they actually reported on your idea. And then they yeah. held, they held a hustings, and uh, sadly, um, it seems as though there might have been a riot going on, and the police were called in the headlines, and that they also said that you, yes, you've got this idea to bring a film studio, but you didn't explain how you would finance that. Um, well, they never gave me a chance. They, right. First. First of all, they 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 never really gave me chance to uh, to to explain how I, how I plan to finance the whole idea, the project. Um, but secondly, they also misquoted me in the Gazette as well. That in the, I think the day or two after, there was two different the lead and the Gazette both taking the hustings, and it was quite startling to see that the two reports it was the exact same wording in both different reports which that to me isn't journalism you'd expect both papers to be able to report on the event in totally different ways but they used exactly the same text in, in both different um spreadsheets so in broadsheets so firstly they misquoted me I, well firstly they didn't give me enough time to explain where the money would come from uh, secondly, the Gazette really misquoted. We kind of pooped it, although they reported it, they kind of poo pooed the idea as they would um, and sort of disregarded it, really. And um, yeah, so I was I was very disappointed. In fact, I've wrote a letter of complaint to both those two right. organisations. I'm just waiting to hear back because what I'd like to do is get an opportunity to at least share my vision with them. Well, I think, I think. To be honest, it was only fair. And they were sharing. They were sharing. Um, sorry, they were sharing the hustings, weren't they? They'd actually put that on. Yes. At right. the this event at the cricket club, they'd actually put put that on. Um, but no, good for you. I mean, I think other people have made some phone calls as well to say, 
this needs to be uh, this needs to be sorted out. What did that teach you about the press then? You've alluded to that, but Mark, what did that actually teach you about the press and how they're handling things? It's a London narrative, everything. I mean, if that hustings was in London, there would have been there would have been probably 150 members of the press there. But because it was in Blackpool, I think we only had well two two members of the press. There was nobody from anywhere really reporting on it like normally you would have. Um, it, what it did is it taught me a big lesson really that they all they're looking for is sound bites. They just and then they then they will misquote your sound bites to suit their narrative. It's it's almost like we're force fed up in the north. The London narrative. I, I'm sorry to say it, but we are. No well, wonder we are. No wonder we are because everything's there. Right. We 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 we're suffering in the north, and the policies that that they've got there obviously are. I mean, it's killing the north off. So when you say, so here we are, I'm giving you the chance to explain how a studio, the studio infrastructure, um, and we are we are talking big acres, how would you fund it? How would you fund it? Well, you kept the key, just before I get into that, the key word you keep, you've used it twice is the infrastructure. That's mm. the key, key word. And we don't have an infrastructure at all. I mean, look, if you're setting up a football... Like think about football stadiums as just a just a way to give you a, a better help you understand what you need to do before you can do anything. So if you wanted, when they talked about the football league, then what they had to do is go out and put these one-off builds, these infrastructure buildings, these stadiums in place before they could have that football league. Otherwise, it would just wouldn't have happened, would it? So infrastructure is a very important part of this. So. We don't have any infrastructure at all in the north. You can discount uh, Media City, Manchester, because that is another connection of London. And anything that goes on there, anything that is successful there, let, I mean, look, the, this morning, the one show, I think that they've gone to London. So you can discount Manchester, Media City, but there is no other infrastructure built anywhere in the north. And so that's the, the key thing, that, that we need the infrastructure building. And then, then we might have a chance to be in the game. If we 